huh, that's a little bit meta. Oh, hey, I'm here to talk about important changes to notifications in Android Oreo. Up until now, there hasn't been a unified way for users to have fine-grained control over their notifications for a single app. If you have different types of notifications, there might be some the user cares a lot about and others that they are less than thrilled to receive. Unless you've made custom preferences for your user, the default user choice if they don't want some notifications is, do I just want to turn off all notifications for this app or do I just deal? Having the user shut off all notifications is no good for you, and it's no good for the user if they miss an important update. Shoot, where's my demo phone? O also introduces notification badges and other snazzy updates. But first, let's look at O's new notification channels. Notification channels give fine-grained notification control with a consistent settings UI to users. Here I am on my O device. I've just got a new notification about a friend following me. Neat. I can long press and I see that I have the option to turn off the followers channel or take a look at all of the channels. Notification channels, which are also called notification categories in the UI, are collections of associated notifications. Every notification in O needs a channel or it won't even show up. For my new social local app, I have two channels, one for all of the notifications about follower updates and another for direct messages. You'll want to separate out your different types of notifications into different channels. You can further organize notification channels into channel groups. Channel groups let you group notification channels together in the UI. For example, you can have a channel group for your work account notifications and for your personal account notifications. To set up a channel, you simply create a notification channel object with a unique string to identify it. You can then add the default settings for that channel and submit the channel. If you want to add a channel group, you can make the group and then add it to your channel. Submitting a channel is much like giving it as a gift to the user. Once you've submitted the channels, the user now owns them and has full control over their notification settings. As a developer, you can no longer modify the settings of that channel. You can see what settings the user has chosen and you can make suggestions, but they have the ultimate control. Making channels is important because when you make a notification, you pass in the channel ID. In fact, you must pass in the ID or your notification won't show up on O devices and you'll get an error. In addition to notification channels, Android Oreo introduces notification badges, also known as dots. The default behavior for launchers that support badges is this. When there are outstanding notifications for an app, I see this little circle on my launcher icon. I can then long press to see a count of all of the outstanding notifications and swipe through them. This new feature comes for free for devices running out. If you need more control over when to show badges to your user or to control the number of outstanding notifications, there are options for you, so check out the docs. Finally, O offers a few other cool notable features. You can set the background color for your foreground notifications using the new set colorize method. You should only use this for ongoing notifications that are of the utmost importance for the user to notice at a glance, like a notification I'm actively using for directions. Some O devices now support lock screen ordering using the category, priority, and associated people for the notification. And the messaging style, style, now displays more content in its collapsed form. There's also a add historic message method that lets you show a little bit more context for the conversation. We have a sample, code lab, and documentation to get you started, so take a look. 